Good morning my friends, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. This morning we're getting started off by going to the Washington State Patrol to get this thing inspected. I hope it passes inspection. I think I have everything I need, kind of a last minute thing. I have all the receipts for rebuilding the car. I have the receipt for buying the car and I have the bill of sale, which is all they give you here in Washington when you buy a wrecked car. So that should be all we need. Let's head in and see what they say. It's a 07 Subaru Impreza. Okay. And do you have receipts for the hood and fender? And all I got receipts. So the hood I pulled off another personal car, WX, okay. uh, control arm, inner tie rods, the fender, yeah, all that good stuff. Okay, seat. so the hood off another car, do you have the title for that car? Because that is a major component part. Anytime okay. you replace a major component part, let's say you got a receipt or a donor vehicle, you need to have a receipt or a title I don't have the title with me. You gotta have the title so I can stamp it. Gotcha. Then, you know. If you don't, they got what they call a three year registration. You can register in your name, license, you get a plate, uh -huh. you get a registration. You just can't apply for a rebuild title for three years. Well, you guys heard the man, no registration for this thing today. We need all the receipts for all the body panels, which of course, when you buy a used fender off of somebody parting out cars, you don't get a receipt. At least not a valid receipt, so. Kind of sucks. All right, appreciate all right, the help. <laughs> Thank if, you. If it all crashes, come back. Yeah. Don't bring the car and I'll just do a three year on it. All right, all sounds right. good. Thank you, man. Man, oh man, they are strict. I can understand why and I can appreciate why, just for the perspective of stolen car parts and whatnot. But yeah, we got a couple things to get finished up before we can get this thing actually titled, which is not a big deal. Lesson learned, my friends. If you have a rebuilt car, specifically in Washington State, I don't know how other states are, and you replace body panels such as a hood, a bumper, fenders, stuff like that, it can't be a used part off of somebody else. It has to be a new aftermarket or OEM replacement part, and you have to bring in the receipt. This is a very stiff car. Finally feeling a little bit better. We took the day off yesterday. I didn't come to the shop at all yesterday, which is pretty rare for me, but woke up feeling pretty good this morning. So we are ready to get back to work on some of the cars. And what we're gonna be working on today is good old Sus TI. We've had this car for probably eight months. We put hundreds and hundreds of hours into it, doing a full respray on the entire car, respray on the bay, rebuilt engine, and I haven't driven it. I've driven it once. There's a lot of things on the car I don't like. Today we're gonna start going through, start going through and fixing some of that. Also, if these episodes for the next few days are a little bit shorter than usual, I apologize. Today is Tuesday. We fly out tomorrow, Wednesday. I'm gonna try to double film today and double film tomorrow, just so I have some content to put out while we are in Texas. And of course, I'm gonna try to make some content out there if it's interesting enough, which I think it will be. But yeah, just a little FYI. I'll probably film two videos today. I don't know what else we're gonna do. We'll figure that out in the next video. Good old Sus TI, let's start docking some stuff out on this thing. Let's just go over real quick all the things I don't like about the car, just to be completely transparent with you guys up front, and I wanna get everything fixed. So, first things first, wide body kit fitment. I don't like how the kit fits. We are not changing the kit, but what I'm gonna do is add, and I had to order this from overseas. I forget who or where I got it from but it's some of the fender trim rubber stuff. And I wanted it color matched. On a white car, I don't think black looks good. So I got white. Hopefully it's a pretty close white. So that should fix some of the gaps that we have. Now they're not terrible, but they're not, it's not perfect and it bugs me. So we can go ahead and test this out when we install the front fender that we had resprayed back on the car. So that's issue number one, I don't like is the wide body panel fitment. Like right here is pretty bad. Ew. Number two, the biggest reason why I don't like driving this car. I put a six putt clutch in here with the lightweight flywheel. Probably the one, one of the more uh, not smart decisions I've made. It's not fun to drive at all. And the one time I drove it, super, super chattery. I don't like it. So 
I do want to go back to a, I know it involves pulling the trans back out, but I do want to go back to a full face clutch with an OEM flywheel. Of course, that's not going to happen today. I don't have a clutch here to put in the car. If I did, then I would probably do it, but that's a little bit longer of a process. Number three, we have a billion dash lights on. Fire this thing up real quick. This car is so sick. Oh, we got a new radio too. I'm excited for that. So this damn quick release. gives us the same DCCD issues it was giving us on the other STI. We have traction control, we have check engine light, which I don't care about, we'll take care of that when this car goes to get tuned. Um, of course, the airbag light is on. So just like we did it the other day in Krusty, we're gonna be putting an OEM wheel, clock spring, and airbag back in this car which is exciting. I'm excited for that. I'm genuinely excited for that. We do have a radio. I don't know if I'm gonna get around to that today, but let's start off with, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the, with the wide body stuff. Let's go slap on the front fender that we repainted with some of this fender trim stuff and see if this is gonna work good for us. I know the car is really, really dirty. I apologize, but that's how it looks with that rubber gasket in there. It looks pretty nice. I am worried it's gonna kind of get stained and dirty over the years or months, whatever. I don't know how long it would take to get stained, but for now, it definitely helps a lot with this wide body kit. Front bumper extensions are pretty bad as well. I'm gonna go ahead and set the bumper up on the table. We can go ahead and put the gasket on the bumper extensions and see how much better that looks. Now it's not perfect, but it took care of enough of the gaps to where now it doesn't bug me. There's a little bit of a gap right here. I was considering just molding them into the bumper. It's a ton of work. I really don't want to do it. And now I'm not going to do it because that little gasket took care of, I would say 95% of the gaps. Well, it's definitely going to take a while. So let's just run through panel by panel, get everything cleaned up with this little rubber gasket. And then we can move on to the next project on this car.
All right, we got her all finished up. It helped out quite a bit. I would say it took it from a fitment of like a, I don't know, seven out of 10 to like a nine out of 10. There's still some little gaps here and there, but overall it is so much better with that little gasket on there. If I can find where I bought it, I'll link it down in the description box below. Let's move on to some interior stuff. Let's get the steering wheel swapped out and hopefully get the radio in installed as well. OEM setup is back in the car. I am so excited. Let's fire this thing up. See if our airbag goes off in the face. I don't think you think that's a myth. Probably would never happen, but. Huh. We still have an airbag light. S drive still flashing. That did not take care of any of our lights on our dash. So let's we'll figure that out. But overall, I love, I actually really, really like the 08 plus steering wheels. This thing's really nice. Sucks our airbag light is still on. We'll take care of that some other day. I should probably just scan it, see what's going on there. On the plus side though, I did pick up this cover that we've been missing for the entire length of this car. Interior is coming together quite nicely. Let's see what we have for a head unit. I believe I got one back here in the hatch. So here we have a very nice radio. We have a few different uh, auxiliary plugins, some USB stuff. Unfortunately, they did not include the harness that we need to get this radio installed in this STI. So unfortunately, no radio for the car today. We'll have to tackle this project when we get the harness. What's up? <laughs> I'm not very smart sometimes. Sometimes I'm smart when I can like build engines, but when it comes to the simple installation of a radio, I'm not very smart. Um, I thought they didn't include the harness. It turns out the factory harness on the car, which I've never seen this happen before, it plugs right into the back of this radio, which is super exciting. So we can go ahead and get this thing installed. I put everything away thinking I wasn't gonna install anything, but we are. So what we're gonna do is install the radio. There's so many extra things they include, like all these uh, aux or R what is that called? RCA, RVCA, RVA. D -d -d <laughs> the do do cables, we're, we're not gonna use those. I think that's for like backup cameras and stuff. You don't need a backup camera on an STI because if you want to back up, you just spin a bro and then you go the other way. Huh. GPS and huh? Good to know. Is that what you do? Mm -hmm. Okay. GPS antenna, I use CarPlay like primarily, which I don't know if this has CarPlay to be honest. Does it? If this does not have CarPlay, then I'll put the antenna in later on. For now, I'm not going to because we're in a rush. Bobby came here to work on uh, Stevo or whatever her name is, Barry. This is a dildo. Uh, Seven. I'm kidding. This is 4G. This is for internet. That's, I'm that's put, legit. I'm putting that in. Microphone, I'm not gonna install. You want me to call you on the phone and all you hear in the background is <laughs> if it was like the FRS or something a little bit quieter, and yeah, that's why we actually put it, I think we put it in the car. This guy, we don't need. Let's go get this thing installed. I'm hyped. Big thank you to iDrink for sending out this radio. 
I'm excited to get it installed and see how she runs. It better be fast and efficient. <laughs> so all these little clips on the stock bezel, we do need those, we need the vents, and we can swap all that over to the new head unit. So we have the two wiring plugins plugged in there, antenna, and then the 4G internet. This thing's ready to go in that ash, and we should be done. Let's make sure it works before I push her all the way in. Ooh. 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 Yeah. All right, she works. She works quite well. Go push it into the dash all the way. Kind of different stuff on here. I'm just gonna use, um, is there CarPlay on here? All right, so we got it connected via the, what's the app called again? CarLink, I think that's what it's called. So that thing, provided you have the USB cable plugged into the back, it meters everything that's on your phone. Watch this. So you can see it's pretty, pretty damn responsive. Same exact concept as CarPlay. When you plug in your phone, you can see how fast it connects. Uh, about two seconds, two to three seconds. Very pleased with the with the setup overall. You do need to plug in one of the USBs to the back of the radio. So I'm gonna route that into a nice location, just down kind of by the shifter. But other than that, this thing is 100% ready to go. And I love it. So I just remembered something with our airbag system on this car. When I put the seat belts in the car, I noticed that the wiring for the little wiring that Airbag connector, this guy here, it was cut off. And I just remembered that, so I went to go splice these in. Not quite sure how it goes because on this one that we picked up, there's just two yellow wires. On that one down there, there's a red and a white. So I guess I'm just gonna guess for now. I really do not know which way they go, but I'm guessing that's why the airbag light on this car is still on. I just guessed on both sides. I suppose let's start it up and see what happens. First off, plug in the battery and see if airbags go off. I don't really like messing with airbag systems. It's a good start. So I tried every which way with the wiring and the airbag light stayed on no matter what. Check the 07 STI, completely different. Check the 19 STI, completely different. So that is gonna have to be a project for another day. There is nothing else we can do on SUS today, so that is gonna be a wrap for today. Peace out, my friends. I'll see you guys tomorrow.